Previously, Heath moved out of the ghoul's house and is now living in a fancy mansion. The guys and ghouls took a tour of his new place, and Abby turned Heath's old room into a nightclub. Now the ghouls are adjusting to life without Heath around. So, is everything in place for tonight? This event needs to be perfect! Yes, Mr. Burns. Things are coming together nicely. Good! This is gonna be the party of the century! Please tell me everyone's RSVP'd! Almost everyone. So far, 250 people have RSVP'd, 12 have said they can't make it, and 28 haven't responded yet. I'm hoping the Kardashians are a part of the 250 confirmed guests! Unfortunately, the Kardashians have not responded. Ugh! How rude! First they cancel keeping up with the Kardashians, and now this?! I am going to lose my mind! Oh, before I forget, you received this in the mail today. Are you kidding me? What's wrong, Mr. Burns? Abby is throwing a last minute party tonight! How dare she! She knew I was hosting my event tonight, and she has the audacity to do this! Ugh! She just has to have the spotlight on her, doesn't she? Abby, you'd better have a good reason to be throwing a party on the same night as my grand housewarming soiree! Sorry, Heath. I just decided to have a last-minute get-together to celebrate turning your old room into a nightclub. You did what to my room?! Uh, nothing. Ugh! I can't believe you! I've been planning my party for weeks, and now people are gonna have to decide whether they want to come to your party instead! Luckily, I know that any sane person would obviously come to my event. Well, I guess that's up for the guests to decide, then. I wouldn't be too sure anyone will show up to your place tonight, Heath. I am a great party planner. So everyone, the house is all set up and people should be getting here soon. Who's ready to party? Actually, Abby, me and Jackie were planning to go to Heath's party. What? Well, he did invite us first and we were really looking forward to hanging out with him in his new place. Plus, we don't get to see him anymore now that he's moved out. I've been wanting to catch up with him. Fine, then go to his party, you traitors. I don't need any party poopers killing the vibe here anyway. Actually, me and Cerise were thinking of going to Heath's party too. Oh, come on, you guys too? Do I have any real friends around here? Don't worry, Abby. We only wanted to stop by Heath's place for the snacks. Apparently, he's having it catered by some fancy restaurant. I mean, come on, we can't miss out on free food. Yeah, we won't stay long. Then we'll come back for the real party here. All right, fine. I'll allow it as long as you snag me some breadsticks or something. Well, I guess it's just us now. Yup. I can't force myself to go to Heath's place even for free food. Well, you made the right choice. Come on in, everybody. The party's just getting started. Wow, what a party! This place is packed! What were you thinking, Kim? That show is your legacy, and what am I gonna do with no new episodes to watch? No, I don't wanna hear it! Nope, that's the last straw, Kim. You should be here, it's what a good neighbor would do. I don't care that there's a Mark Jacobs event tonight! Well, at least tell me Kanye's coming. What? Get him on the phone! I wanna talk to Kanye! Kim? Kim? Ah! She hung up on me! Was that Kim Kardashian? Well, yeah. She was supposed to be at my party, but I guess stupid Mark Jacobs is having a fashion show tonight that's more important. Oh my god. Wait, does that mean there's celebrities here? Um, duh. My guest list is very exclusive. You peasants were lucky to even get an invite. Whoa! OMG, is that Harry Styles? Eee! Ugh, they better not embarrass me. Okay, well, me and Cerise are gonna go hit up the buffet table. Ugh! Yo, this party is popping! Mind if I cue up my newest mixtape on Spotify? Please do not do that. And it would be poppin' if Heath wasn't having a party tonight too. There would be way more people here right now. Wait, Heath's having a party tonight? He must have forgotten to invite me. Ugh. Wait, I just got an idea. Attention everyone! I have to run an errand real quick, but you can keep partying while I'm gone. Keep the music going and the drinks flowing. What are you doing? Just trust me on this. Here, come with me. <laughs> Here, put this in your purse. Ooh, I'll grab a few of these for Abby. What are you looking at? It's all you can eat. Dang it, 
there's no more cupcakes left. Ugh! Who keeps eating all of the food? Butler! Get in here now! What's the problem, Mr. Burns? My food supply is rapidly diminishing! Go yell at the caterers in the kitchen to whip up some more snacks. Stat! I can't have my guests dying of starvation! Of course, Mr. Burns. Uh, Heath, where's your bathroom? I really have to use it! Go through that door over there, take a left at the end of the hallway, go up three flights of stairs, take a right, and it's the seventh door on your left. Uh, okay. Uh, huh. Wait a minute, huh? Oh. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go around and tell people about my party. You go swipe as much food as you can from the buffet table. We'll meet back at my place in half an hour with more snacks and people. Ooh, I like it. Hey you, here, take a flyer. What's this? Oh, just an invite to an even better party taking place across town. Trust me, you'll want to be there. Hmm, this party is pretty lame. Sure, we'll go check it out. Good choice. Ha, huh, Heath is going to flip out once he sees people are ditching his event for mine. That's right, everyone. There's an even more exclusive party tonight. Go now. You don't want to miss it. Yep. Take a flyer. Take a flyer. Um, what is going on in here? Where did everyone go? Uh-oh. Jackson didn't start talking about nerd stuff, did he? Oh, a bunch of people just left to go to another party. We were about to head out, too. It sounds pretty cool. What other party? What's this? Oh my god. God! How dare Abby try to steal my guests for her lame party! Ugh! Where am I? Oh, I'm never gonna be able to find the bathroom! Anyone seen Abby Abominable? Long blue hair, terrible fashion sense? Ugh! She's gotta be around here somewhere! Hey! Get off of that float! This isn't a pool party, you moron! Ugh! Who raised these people? <gasps> hey! Not so fast! Well, well, well! You just couldn't stay away from my party, could you? Yeah, right. I'm only here to steal your guests. Ugh! I know that! I saw those stupid flyers you gave to everyone! Give me those! No! Aha! Ugh, whatever. My work here is done anyway. I couldn't believe how fast your so-called friends left to go to my place. I guess your party is a flop. How dare you insult my party planning skills! You're just mad no one wanted to come to your event. You had to resort to stealing my guest list! Well, it worked, because this place is looking like a ghost town. Now I have to go. I have a party to host. Uh, excuse me, have you guys seen the bathroom? Shh! The movie's about to start. Oh, sorry! Well, my plan was a success. This place is packed. Holt, go replenish the snack bar with the stuff you took from Heath. I'm on it! Hey, you guys made it! Well, yeah, we weren't gonna abandon your party. This looks like way more fun than Heath's event anyway. His house is so fancy it freaks me out. I feel like if I breathe wrong, Heath's gonna pop out of nowhere and punch me. And Frankie, you came too. I thought you were gonna stay at Heath's place. I was, but then I decided I had to check out your party too. Plus, Heath kept telling me I was dancing wrong, whatever that means. Well, go party and enjoy yourselves. I don't have any weird rules like Heath does. Hey, Frankie, I was hoping I'd see you here. Oh, hi, Gil. Hey, where's Jackson? Oh no, Jackie! <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, I wanna go home! <laughs> uh, I gotta go. Welp, I'd say this party was a success. Ugh! I can't believe stupid Abby ruined my elegant soiree! Oh great! You're still here! Uh, Heath? I couldn't find the bathroom and, uh, um, well, there might be a wet spot on 
your carpet upstairs, just so you know. Oh, come on! Mr. Burns, here's the bill for the caterers, bodyguards, professional DJ, and event planners you hired. Ugh! I spent $50,000 on this mess?! Ugh!